Wondering how much exposure is too much when the air quality is this unhealthy. And Brittany Smith tried to answer that question for us today. She joins us now live in Green Bay. Brittany. Cammie and Bill, I talked to three experts throughout the state today, and the simple answer is they just don't know. As the Canadian wildfire smoke continues to blanket Wisconsin, experts say it's difficult to pinpoint the toxins in the air right now. I know there are some concerns. I think I saw an email about formaldehyde and other chemicals. Um, yeah, so burning, burning the fires creates that. How much of that right now is in our air is not something I've been able to find. UW Health allergist Dr. Eric Schauberger says the smoke from Canada is also difficult to put into context because it's not the same thing as smoke from a cigarette. But he says the health effects on lungs are somewhat equivalent. If we look at the exposure level right now in Green Bay from the airnow.gov website, we are sitting at an air quality index around 200. So if you were outside the entire day, I, I read an AQI of 150 is about seven cigarettes a day. If you were outside for the entire 24 hours. So, so being outside for a few hours probably is an equivalent right now of possibly a couple cigarettes. Exposure also depends on the size of the particle. Current pollutant particles in the air are around 2.5 microns. Which can penetrate the body's natural uh, defense systems, get into the bloodstream, get into the lining of the lungs, and cause uh, inflammation and aggravation of either underlying conditions or, or create symptoms that you wouldn't have had otherwise. Experts say everyone should limit their time outdoors, especially children. Because their airways are smaller, but they also, I will tell you, do not do a very good job of verbalizing their symptoms. Plus, it's a good idea to keep an eye on the airnow.gov website to monitor the rapidly changing situation, especially as we head into a holiday. It doesn't mean that you have to cancel plans or you have to um, change anything about your day to day routine. But if you're planning, you know, if you see that it's going to be at an unhealthy level on a certain day, um, you know, the recommendation would be instead of spending two hours out on the pontoon, maybe you spend one hour. When limiting your time outdoors, masks certainly help, but they are not 100%. Keep in mind, these particles are tiny. According to the EPA, a single strand of hair is 30 times bigger than one of these particles circulating in the air right now. Bill.